Hello everyone. I wanted to do a quick demonstration for you how I did my chain edging on. Uh, this is going to be a poncho for a three-year-old and it's very simple. It's uh, more lightweight because in the center I used three strands. Well for my edging I'm going to use one strand and I'm still using a K hook. I also used a K hook for the three and um, this is about an inch and a half. It's going to be lighter weight and easier to fold over when you want to do your buttons and it's real simple. Along with that I'm going to show you a couple of tips that I've found for weaving in edges that makes life a little easier. So this side is done, just have to add the buttons. This side is not done. So this is where people get kind of intimidated because you don't have a stitch to go through. You have to, you know, kind of come up with your own to create a nice base for your edge. So you want to leave a nice long tail because what we're going to do is uh, just weave it in as we go. So create your slip knot and then just work with two and then when you're done you can just cut it and it's already weaved in. So we're going to start at the very corner of uh, your project and I've got both strands, the tail and the yarn that I'm going to be sewing with. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. I'm going to go into the next space that I find, single crochet, and then just drop it there and we'll cut that off. And now I'm going to chain two, one, two, go into the next space, single crochet, chain one, two, next space single crochet, chain one, two, and do that through the whole edge. And then when you get to your end, I'll just do a little section here and frog it, um, you're going to chain two, you're going to turn your work, and then go right back into that chain. So it's really fast and easy. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all the way back down, chain two, turn, and just repeat. And you'll get an edge that looks nice and light like this. Another weaving uh, tip I have. If you are putting together a poncho like this, because you're going to start here at the shoulders, two panels, leave those ends long so that you can just sew the shoulder part closed. So and you're only going to end up with one knot instead of having three separate ones. Um, see how these are kind of short and you would want to weave them in and you're like, okay, that's not going to fit. It's not long enough for my darning needle. Well, what I do in this situation is take my darning needle and put it in wherever I'm going to weave in. Bring the eye of the needle up close to the short edge. and then just pull it through. And that's how I weave in when uh, the ends are too short. So, uh, I hope that gives you some tips of the trade and uh, happy crocheting.